Pirates in the home white, road, uh, road red for Princeton. And Greensburg starts by controlling the tap. Again, you're a little man-to-man -man here with Princeton, and they like to put great pressure on you, try to get as much pressure on you as they can. They go for steals. They got quick hands, six assists, three steals a game to 1.8 turnovers per game. You talk about efficiency as a point guard. Th th those numbers are staggering. You'll see plenty of help defensively. Switch off the screens. You won't see Greensburg get in a hurry either. It's a good look. Shot thrown up a little short. Grabs his own rebound. Good move, Elijah Harder. Well, your, your idea, if you're obviously with Greensburg, shorten up the game. Take some time, make them have to guard you. To speed themselves up. That was a little short. Two to one, your score. Seven minute mark of the first quarter. You see a little trap out front with the guards. Trouble with the basketball, Adam Wilson. Trap, looks for some help, close to a five second goal. You know, the thing about losing Latroy Wright, you know, you've got a guy who's, you know, averaging 17 a game, 12 rebounds. He's your go-to guy, can handle the ball, make people better. That's the big pass, sets people up, and he's not with them. Jordan Simmons with a quick hands there defensively, creating the turnover for Princeton. Deep three-pointer, no. The hold on the floor. You, know, you, you have a depth problem. You're going to have to use a lot of bodies against this Princeton group. George, strong move to the baseline. Gets his own rebound. Throws it up at a double team. Gets it to fall. That's just great work by Trevor George. I mean, here's a kid who you know, averages 15 a game, and you can he's a good inside-out player. You see the one, you see the man-to-man, -man, little trap in the back. They will come after you hard. On the Dial One Hour logo at IHSAA Sports. Sports.org today for more information and to nominate someone. Well, Mark, Princeton shows you a 2 2 1, three quarter court trap. And, and that's part of what they want you to do. Wilson misfires on the three. It's not necessarily to get the ball, in, you know, on the steal. How about the hoop? Oh, my. Trevor George, his fourth point. Well, I said it before, they get to the rim. Quickly, and how about this though? Ty Miller saying we can also get to the rim quickly ourselves. No one stopping dribble penetration at either end. 5 4. Got Preston. An offense. Offensive yep. foul, good call. An offensive foul, and uh, that's a great, great exhibition of coming in, knowing your team, settling them down, getting them to understand how the flow of this game is going to be. Dontre Chavis checks into the ball game for Princeton, replacing Packer, who again picked up his second personal foul. Three pointer, top of the circle, no good. Back-to-back -back misfires off the three for Adam Wilson. 12 feet out on the baseline, nothing but net. Good open court jumper by Jordan Simmons. Well, Simmons is a, uh, a easy shooter. I mean, that's what he does. That's what he's out there for. Gives him an explosive look. But you see right now, a little trap, a little half-court trap, trying to show you different looks. Great execution by Greensburg. Dugan able to get the bucket, 7-6, back to within one. Well, it's set up on the great penetration and the great delivery. It allows Dugan to just get the score off the catch. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound controlled by Princeton. It shoves it down low. A quick to the rim, showing press again. Well, look at the spacing. If you're going to break the pressure, you have to do it with spacing. Just remember now, this is a Greensburg team that even with even without Latroy Wright, you go back, they beat Batesville, they beat Ron Colley, they beat North Montgomery. Three ranked teams. How about that three? And you see what I mean? Listen, they didn't get here by accident, and, and they're certainly, they feel like, irrespective of their personnel situation, they can win the ball game. Elijah Harder with five, got the bucket and one. React to it. Under four to play in the quarter now. We're tied at nine. Well, the other thing that's happened, too, is Greensburg with their efficient offense, offensive attack, taking this Princeton crowd out, Mark. You don't hear them. Right. Ball knocked away. Saved inbounds. Controlled by Princeton. And tracked down by Greensburg. Well, one of the things, too, is you can see pace of the game 
is bothering both teams in this respect. You don't want to run out of the defense. You don't want to create problems. And then when you do get it, you need to be efficient with it if you get a steal. Wilson, a little sloppy with a pass. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Princeton. 3-16, period one, tied at nine. Greensburg with a basketball. And they're not going to, going to get in a hurry, Mark. They're going to take time, rotate the ball side to side, try to penetrate when they can, be mindful of the double team, which Princeton can do anywhere on the court. Three-pointer, top of the circle. How about that? Well, that's the one thing they do well. There are two things that Greensburg does well, Mark. They handle the ball and they shoot the three. And we've seen that to this point right now. Not get uh, rattled, take care of the ball. We talked about the concept, Mark, of not having your star player and having it help bond you as a group. The other thing, if you're the, uh, if you're Princeton, you look at it and saying, well, they lost their best player. You tend to, you tend to relax a little bit. Yeah, we learned last week at Hinkle, you still have to play the Absolutely. game. Absolutely. Strong move to the bucket, too strong, in fact. Greenwood, or Greensburg, we should say, back the other way. Nice cut to the bucket by Burcham. Throws it up a little st too strong. Gets his own rebound on the baseline. Comes to Adam Wilson. Wilson will penetrate, pitch. Come to Burcham on the baseline. He'll float it up, get it to score. Check that, Ty Miller with a bucket. Ty Miller. He has four. Well, saw the guy on the floor and was able to have the presence of mind. Also, the defender not run into him. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound controlled by Greg Dugan. Well, and if you're Tom Weeks, you got to be concerned about that shot, some questionable shots and decisions right now that have allowed Greensburg to bump it up to five. And Greensburg, again, they're going to come down, not in a hurry, and make you defend. they got to watch the on-ball screen and watch the double team in this kind of offense. 14-9, your score. 90 seconds left of the first quarter. Greensburg leading unbeaten Princeton. See, because the ball screen allows the double opportunity. Shot put up a little short down low. If you're Princeton, you really need a good look right now, Mark. You need to understand all five guys in the red shirt need to know we need a good, good possession. Andrew Dugan with that misfire, by the way. Chavis drives and kicks. A minute to play in the quarter. Jump shot from 16, no. Rebound controlled by Greensburg. Think of this, though, Mark, when Jalen Went out of the – when Jalen Packer went out with that second foul, it's a different Princeton team offensively. They had no rhythm to what they're doing offensively. Three-pointer, baseline, Boom. good. Nothing but net. Harder is in double figures with 11. And the team that has rhythm is in the white, and it's the team that lost their best player yesterday. I just can't get over the Jackson Dell fans that have stayed and who are rooting for Greensburg. Kind of <laughs> that it, is impressive. It, it is. Without all oh, similarly impressive is how well Greensburg's played. Absolutely. They have been impatient defensively. Uh, and once they've gotten the ball back, they've come down, taken some questionable shots, have not converted in opportunities. Dugan, an ill-advised shot, threw yep. it up a little short. In transition comes Trevor George. George, kick all the baseline. Packer with a drive, throws it up and in. You see, you got that. It's not coincidental. You got to get him back, got to get him involved. He's the guy that makes you play. Foul out high near the midcourt strike. Princeton can. They'll try to keep Jalen Packer on the floor as much as they possibly can because they went south in this quarter when Packer picked up that foul. Greensburg, he Look won three quarters court off the backboard. We played one quarter of basketball. Unbeaten Princeton trails Greensburg 17 11.